So ever since I got my bunion, I've been looking for bunion friendly shoes. I started off with the Air Force ones. I haven't found a better one yet, but the Gamma Force came in and I was like, okay, I'll try them because, well, well, they're not Air Force ones. They're called Gamma Force. So released about like two months ago. I got the color combination that looks like this. It's actually really pretty. I like the different like shades of white with the gold bottom here. Now on the Nike website, there's always like these benefits for wearing these shoes. And their benefits is that the leather, suede, and mesh layers add a durable and dimensional look to any outfit. We'll test that out. And a subtle platform. It gives you just enough height. And yes, I do need that height. Just by feeling them, Okay, the cushion level of just feeling it like this, they are very similar. Well, don't forget, these Air Force Ones 07s, I got them last year and I've been wearing them every day, so don't worry about the whites. This is very, very white. But they are actually pretty much the similar color. It just has like uh, the Nike checks right there are a little bit darker in color. Oh, if you do want a full detail of the Air Force 107, I will link them in the description box and you'll be able to see the shadow ones as well. But let's try these on and see how they compare. So right away, these do not fit my bunion, which makes me really, really upset because they are forces. Okay, not Air Force, but Gamma Force and it's just like really tight and narrow. Like the shoe has so much potential. It looks so good on. Like I really like the look of these. These don't have like the Air Force One holes like that. But yeah, they just look so good. Okay, bunion aside, I'm gonna walk in them for you. Maybe they just need to be broken in, but let's see. So as I'm walking in these shoes, they have less cushion. Like it doesn't feel like it's cushiony like the Air Force Ones 07s and they wrap really tightly around your foot not in a bad way and it actually makes it feel lighter like it's one with your foot that's what these shoes feel like when i'm walking in them like when you're wearing the air force ones it does feel like you are wearing shoes and they are slightly heavier but not like super heavy in a way that it's uncomfortable like air force ones 07s are just really 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 comfortable but as i'm wearing these a little bit longer the bunion doesn't hurt as much so yes maybe i just like needed to break them in but the way it wraps so tightly like i said and how narrow it is it doesn't even look that narrow from here comparatively to these but yeah like i can still feel the bunion which is not a preference for my liking and also I want my sneakers that I can wear them all day every day so yeah now here's just a quick comparison of the Air Force ones and the Gamma Force like they both look really good on it's just that there's a way more room at the Air Force one than there is in the Gamma Force it's so hard to see like this but you can definitely feel it in your feet so that's just what it looks like comparatively I do like the color combination more of the Gamma Force though. Now online it did say that it adds dimension to any outfit and whenever they say any outfit I like to be a little drastic and see if I can do eh, maybe more formal stuff and let's try it. Ta -da! It definitely adds a dimension but not the greatest dimension. I knew it wasn't gonna really work because the Air Force ones doesn't really work but I always want to try it with this dress. This dress is very hard to style with like just sneakers. I know it's more of like a heel shoe, but yeah, like it still looks really cute. Maybe? What do you think? So I actually wore these shoes and this outfit all together to a wedding because I knew there was going to be dancing and I wasn't going to like be dancing in heels all night. So I switched into these shoes and I know they are like kind of okay, but looking at the Gamma Force, it actually looks really nice. I think the Gamma Force looks a lot better than the Air Force ones, but yeah, like I'm surprised that this dress works better than the dress that I just showed you. A little bit more casual, no surprise here. It looks really, really cute. This combination, again, looks better than the Air Force ones, but of course the Air Force ones will usually look good with any outfit because it's just a plain white sneaker. But yeah, so that 
dimension that it does add. I'll give it to you, Nike. My Nike Air Force Ones work with these, so I knew these are probably gonna work. I just need to try them. They are, again, cuter than the Nike Air Force Ones. So I really like it. It's just that like the more I wear it, it is bothering my bunion a little bit down there. So, oh, it's so hard. So more casual sundress type look, but like this one's okay. It almost matches my formal one a little bit more, so it's a little bit off, but eh, what do you think? Surprisingly, I think the Air Force One looked better than the Gamma Force. So after wearing these for quite a while now, they did kind of mold to my feet, but the longer I wore them, my bunion hurt more as much as it was getting a little bit more cushiony and comfortable to walk in. It didn't work out, so... Ugh, these have to go back. These are $120. The Air Force Ones are $145. So if you do have a bunion like me, unfortunately, I know these look better. You can get the Nike by you and customize the Nike Air Force Ones and do a similar color coordination to Gamma Forces or pretty much any other colors that you want. So with the Gamma Force, if you don't have a bunion, go ahead. You're probably going to love these. They fit a lot more outfits than the Nike Air Force One in my opinion, with more dresses and stuff like that. But of course, with athleisure, many sneakers are gonna work. So if you like these and you do want like more of a full review of the Nike Air Force Ones, please go check it out and I will see you over there. Goodbye for now.